What's up everybody, Matt Nuzzo, and we're here for a wing off. So a year ago, if you told me that I'd be comparing three different wingy thingies, I'd be like, you're out of your mind. That's sports for kooks. And now I feel like I'm the biggest kook in the world because I was 100% wrong. Riding the wingy thingy is super fun. For me, it's, it's an extension of foil surfing, uh, which I'm totally addicted to. And when you get in the ocean and you get on like a tiny little swell and just glide for miles, it's like, this is freaking insane. It's so fun. So we've got three of the latest uh, wingy thingies out here. They're super, uh, these are like three awesome wings. I'm gonna ride them back to back so I can kind of see. The conditions I was riding in today was about 15 miles an hour of southwest wind. I wanted to try them all out. Uh, I was riding the Armstrong 5.5 with the 1550, uh, HS 1550, great all around uh, uh, foiling kit setup. This is the smallest wing we tried out today, which is the Armstrong 4.5. We've got the Wing Ride Model 3 five meter, and then we've got the Sling Wing v254 they're all actually pretty similar in size and amount of power and, and functionality so which is kind of weird i was like you know that i've heard that the armstrong's had a lot of power per size i've been riding all these individually but then you compare them back to back in the same conditions and it's crazy to see a four five and a five four working in the same conditions same amount of effort and whatnot it's really really quite cool so i'm going to talk about the technical difference with these things so uh the armstrong you can see one of the unique things is this has the most rigid frame uh you can really see that the tube all the way through here is like really big. The strut tube is really big, um, which we'll flip over in a minute. Um, so you've got a lot of uh, frame framework to the tube there. You also have uh, windows in it. You know, so this one, you're not actually looking out of the bottom window. You just lift up to see out of the bottom. But out of the top window, uh, you are using that window. He's using a military tent material. So it's like real strong and super thin and not like it doesn't like crease or have any issues with it. You can also see there, this one has no flutter on the trailing edge. So you put a line through the trailing edge and so there's just no flutter. When you hold the wing, it's really balanced. All these things are really balanced. They work right now, but just super balanced. It does luff, uh, has a you know, kind of luffing canopy there. And um, you know, again, this is the smallest wing that I was able to ride in those conditions. Coming over here to the wing ride. Um, this one here, you've got a more tensioned canopy. So you can see particularly up here, canopy is real tight. It's a little looser towards the trailing edge. They did ta uh, taper down the wingtips. Um, so this has a, a little bit softer frame to it in the, in the wingtip area. Um, one of the things that uh, that does is that you know, like it has a little wider wingspan too. So when you're, you're a little easier to catch the wingtip on this one, but this tighter canopy in it gives you a lot of traction, gives you that kind of four wheel drive traction and you know, just gets you right up on foil and gets going. Over here, we got the sling wing. The sling wing is the 5.4, is the largest of them, has a squared off, uh, squared off wing tips. Um, it does have uh, used battens to control the flutter and the trailing edge there. Has a little more tension up here. Uh, does luff out super nice and it does have the skinniest wing tips. So this has the, the kind of softest frame. Um, so when you're pumping, you do get some flex to it, but it actually pumped up, uh, pumps up on foil real easy. Kind of gets that, like, gets a little bit of that traction and pumps up on foil. So once, uh, flip these over to talk about the what's on the underside. So Armstrong, you can see he's got massive uh, center strut here, just real thick center strut to give a lot of, um, a lot of rigidity. He does use the Y handles, um, and then he's got your uh, standard handles uh, through the middle here. I was using the Y handle and this handle a lot. Um, you also see he's got this, uh, this material here that's gonna really secure the handle to the, uh, to the strut. I found that the, these handles were the most comfortable of all of them. They kind of just are real soft and, and uh, you know, soft here, but rigid. So like when you pump, like it just immediately translates. Also he's using, so he's using a one pump system, which takes a little time to deflate. He's using just a, a inflate valve here and inflate valve here. It actually, at first I was kind of like, oh, you got to pump it up twice, but it actually works really uh, quite a bit better than, you know, having to deflate. Like when you deflate thing deflates real quick. Um, also this frame is just rock solid. It's definitely the most, rigid frame I and mean, it doesn't flex at all and that's only seven and a half pounds of pressure so the other wings i've got pumped up to nine pounds and you'll see that you know i mean that is just really, really rigid uh strut too like i can't even flex these things it's only seven and a half pounds um and part of the reason I did that is like when you're going up in higher pressure you're you're taxing the uh taxing the frame you're also going to see here he's got this uh really heavy duty kevlar reinforcement didn't go across all the way in the end here i think just to to uh, save some weight there. Um, but you can see on some of the other ones, they're putting that the, those uh, wingtip coverings on there. Wing Ride's got a pretty unique setup for the handles. They have just these long handles, which are pretty cool. They're, they're kind of tensioned handles, 
Um, they're cool because you can kind of move your hand where, where you want it. So I find when I want more power, I'm just moving it here. Less power, I'm just moving my front hand here. Um, I really like the Y handles, but once you get used to this, it's pretty easy. Um, they've done a pretty unique thing and they have two deflate struts. So it does deflate pretty quickly and, and quite easily. And you can see here that this thing's had a pretty rigid frame, but then when you're getting down here to the wingtip, wingtip's gonna be softer. So the center strut, pretty solid there on that one. Uh, but the wing tip is going to be a little bit softer. They're recommending eight to nine pounds. I pumped up to nine just to get that, that uh, real heavy duty gassing there. Then slingshot, sling wing. Um, this is going to be the lightest weight of the wings. So it's your, your uh, lightest weight, you know, at five, four, uh, it's actually close to, it's a little lighter than the wing ride. And then the Armstrong at a four or five is going to be lighter, but per size, this is the, they are making the, some of the lightest wings on the market per size. You've got your Y handles here, transfer handle. This is really cool. So when you're going to luffing, you can change that. They've got a bunch of handles down here. I was using the Y handle, my hand kind of pinches in there, but I was using this handle and then uh, this one down here, um, just kind of two, I think the ones all the way at the end are a little excessive. Uh, you can see that when I lean on this, that this does flex some more. That's about nine pounds, particularly down here on the wing tip. You know, a lot more flex there. You can see that they put this bumper all the way over the whole uh, edge here. So if you're using this like skateboarding or something like that, you know, it's definitely quite, quite, uh, you know, durable for that. Uh, this does luff out real nice too. Um, it's got a little bit more dihedral to it, you know, than some of the others like just like V and it does luff out super nice. I've actually been really impressed with how they all luff out. Um, you know, riding all of these back, back all such a really different feel and different ride. I found the Armstrong to be the easiest because it has the most compact wingtips. You're riding the smallest wing with the most power. And also those real thick tubes here. When you hit one of these tubes down in the water, it doesn't deflect and flex and slow you down. It just touches and just bounces right off. The wing ride kind of takes the least effort to just sheet in and go, um, but it does have the widest wingtips, so you are touching down. Um, this session was pretty light, so jumping wasn't that great. I did find the wing ride has tons of hang time. And then, uh, you know, the sling wing and the 5.4 it doesn't have a ton of low end power, but it does pump up on, on foil pretty well. Um, and it does luff out really, really nicely. So I, I really enjoy how that uh, luffs out. I really uh, love the 4.4. Four. I use that one a lot. Uh, riding waves luffs out super, super easy. Um, so riding these all back to back, they are all great wings. I'd say the Armstrong is probably the easiest ride because it's smallest, most power uh, per size, and it's just super balanced. Wing ride might, is probably the highest performance. Like I was really going uh, like real fast on that, like really good straight line speed, great up upwind, and um, you know in the conditions I was riding had a little more lift than the other wings. Um, and I found getting this thing really powered up on a prone board just has great hang time. And then the sling wing uh, has a great variety of handles. Kind of is like, hey, I want I want something that's going to be a jack of all trades wing. I want to be able to use it on on land, not up. Uh, I want it to be easy that, you know, that softer kind of uh, feel doesn't give you that more direct punch that these other wings are going to give you. Um, so that kind of like can eat some gusts and be a little flex kind of becomes your friend. Um, you know, when you're, uh, when you're just learning and kind of, it's, it's a little, little more uh, user friendly and gives a little bit more. Uh, so if you want more reviews or the specific reviews on these wings, we have uh, all those at realwatersports.com or you can give us a call at the shop 252-987-6000. See you guys on the water.